How do they truly feel about you right now? We have the two of ones. This is them thinking about you from afar, okay? This person is feeling this powerful desire to really give you this gift of their heart, of their feelings, and an expression of their true feelings. This person wants to demonstrate their profound love for you, okay? They could be feeling stuck somewhat right now. There could be some sort of obstacles where you're not allowed to express these feelings to each other. In some cases, they could be in a relationship or there's some sort of physical distance here. But they're thinking about you constantly, okay? With these birds here, again, it's making me think of them as like carrier pigeons, even though they don't look like pigeons. It's making me think of messing Send, send in messages from afar, then being this messenger. They just feel so liberated in your connection, okay? It's deeply spiritual. They're looking out at the infinite skies and the ocean, and they are just feeling so much freedom from this false matrix that programs us to be, to be very constrained, very restricted, and they've really been suffering with this and feeling the the heavy weight on their shoulders like their whole life, and this love is so intoxicating and liberating, it represents the infinite, it's true love that takes them out of this false matrix, opening their eyes, and they just really want to show you how much they love you, how much gratitude they have, how they feel the same way, how deeply moved they are. Yeah, look, the moon, they're longing for you, they're pining for you. I normally say that this two of wands, it looks like he's um, stuck on top of the tower card, and there's two towers here, okay? You could be mirrors of each other in terms of you both have been in this world feeling like you have to wear these masks and this whole false self and false identity was created you know we're all born into this we're born into these patterns of illusion and um so there's this could be fears within you or just patterns or just so much conditioning like you don't know how to be um, totally authentic, totally your true selves. But nonetheless, your souls are racing towards each other. This normally shows the wolves howling at the moon. This, 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 this is a plane of duality, okay? The appearance of separation. But your souls are coming out from this apparent separation and howling at the moon, longing for each other. Normally, this moon is totally eclipsing the sun. So, yeah, in this false matrix, the wall's totally been pulled over our eyes. We're born into falseness. We're born into all of these limiting beliefs. We forget who we really are. It's designed to disconnect us from our souls, our infinite power, um, and keep us enslaved in the shadow, in fear, in the heaviness, you know, taking on things that aren't even really us, uh, identity, shame, um, again, feeling isolated and separated. All of this is illusion. Um, there's so much subconscious coming up, so much of that program, programming to be purged and released. How else are they truly feeling? So intense longing, intense desire, yeah. This is what's why you're in a physical separation, okay? The physical isn't the true reality. It's a false matrix. You've met each other in order to remember the true matrix, and that is um, the higher dimensions, the truth, the infinite, the oneness, the love. <clears throat> So this physical separation is designed to make you go into this hermit mode, go inwards, shine in the truth, shine in the love on all of this falseness. Everything we've taught, taught, been taught is reality and it isn't. Seeing beyond this now, this is why your connection is so deep and is continuing to deepen because it's really connecting you to the infinite depths. It takes you out of... Um, such a shallow existence of this false matrix. 
So your person's going inwards a lot. This is clear from all of these cards. There could be people around your person trying to connect with them. Uh, but this person's completely changed, okay? They are soul searching. They are truth searching. They are yearning for you. They are searching for a way to have this true deep union with themselves, with the universe, with God. And that also represents with you as a byproduct of all of this. And they're just longing for you so much, okay? How else do they truly feel right now? Ace of Cups, wow, on the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. This is like the Holy Grail. This is the ultimate love. This is a love that is so true um, that it creates this brand new beginning. A huge metamorphosis is taking place within you both, moving out of the false matrix into the truth they just love you completely okay this is what they want to give you that gift their heart their expression of their feelings giving you these gifts you know yes that's what that this is the uh playing cards of the christmas carols the partridge in a pear tree um cat christmas carol is all about giving these gifts this person they just want to give you all of these gifts all of this love they could see you as somewhat cut off as well. This is them giving you their heart, this ace of cups. You could be viewing things in the wrong kind of way, like having doubts and things, and you're not in the right vibration to be able to receive, therefore be able to see how they are communicating their love to you. This could be especially telepathic right now, okay, with his hand coming out of the clouds. Or in some shape or form, they're really, really trying to communicate their love. But you may be the one that's in shadow right now. So you cannot fully see and receive this gift. Five of Swords. Interesting, because this is about pushing away. This Again, it could be mirrored energy. Um, because... You're not from this false matrix. No one is in truth. It's a false simulation. And so it's a very harsh place to be. A very harsh vibration and bandwidth of perception. It's about illusion. So because it's not the truth, it's very painful to be here. This, this false matrix is an inversion of the truth. It's a lot of darkness. That is painful. So naturally, you've both been protecting your hearts from childhood onwards. Everyone has. Subconsciously, we create these walls of protection, these masks. And um, this is what is massively healing within you both, letting down these walls, letting down or letting go of these false uh, perceptions of the self, the false self-image this is like the ego thinking that um, you are your job, you are your name, you are your culture, your religion, you are your apparent success, you are your apparent failures, you are what you'd, others have told you you are, whether that was bad or good, etc, etc, you know. That isn't you. That's the ego. We're here to play these roles with this ego which is all about separation, it's the illusion. So you're both learning to reawaken the heart chakra, that gateway to the truth, and this is a powerful, powerful, infinite love that is that has really activated the heart chakra so that you can come back home. But they could be seeing you as somewhat cut off, even if you don't realise it. We have the Ace of Wands. Um, they feel so much passion because there's so much power and depth within this union. It really takes you to the stillness, to the infinite, feeling connected to all things. It's lightness, it's high vibration, it's joy. It's feeling that deep sense of belonging. 
This all really, really turns your person on in so many ways. It activates them. It makes them desire you, you know, to embrace you, to have that sexual union, um, that complete union in all ways. We have the Four of Cups again. This was here. And the Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to you, okay? There could be a fear of loss here. Again, it's when we're so aligned with a false matrix, there's this idea that we could lose the infinite. This is a love that cannot be lost, but it's only if you know how to look for it. If you're looking for this love through all of the false perceptions and the ego, then you won't find it. All you will see is that conditioning, which is all about the illusion of separation and you'll feel all of that pain. But if you know how to search for this love, through looking through the heart, through the truth, through the intuition, you will always know the truth of oneness and feel the absolute bliss. So holding on and again going inward so much, um, connecting with you so much, but again the feeling of maybe you could be cut off somewhat, so that's why they're feeling a fear of separation. How else are they truly feeling about you right now? ascension yeah wow they know that this is a profound love to help you both ascend beyond this false matrix they know your souls agreed upon this before birth this is how incredible your connection is your connection is very harmonious you are like the yin and the yang that perfectly harmoniously moves you into and um, these deeper, higher levels of ascension, higher levels of consciousness. I feel like you are music to this person's ears. That's what I'm hearing. And um, they are listening to music a lot. They have these deep, deep romantic feelings for you, okay? They've never felt so romantic. They've never met someone so romantic. This is that holy love, that divine love. This is that Knight of Cups energy coming forward, expressing their deepest, most intimate truths about their feelings for you. And text message, yeah, they're going to come forward in some kind of way. Some sort of written form of communication coming in here. Again, this is that gift. They could be planning on how to approach you, how to... Um, yeah, look, express their love. Cupid strikes. They want this arrow of truth, the messenger to pierce right into your heart. And they want to come forward and give you these key insights. They feel deeply emotional in this connection. Deeply moved, okay, by this love and this experience that you are sharing together. So let's look at some messages cards. What do they really need you to know right now about their true feelings? We have, it's not over. So for some of you, if you fear that um, the connection's over and they're not coming back, they are. It's not over. So much more is going to unfold. There's so much unfinished business. I can't hold back any longer. So yeah, coming forward. This is following their heart, following this magnetism that naturally brings them towards you because this is a love that is the truth. So the more they awaken, the more they get closer to their true self and you are a mirror of their true self. So they get closer to you. That can be on any level, okay? It could be in the 3D for some of you. It could be... Uh, on the, the truer, deeper levels of the fifth dimension and beyond. Um, I got zero sleep. So your person, they're finding it hard to sleep right now. I do feel because it's a lot of things are activating. A lot of things are moving behind the scenes. Um, a lot of progress is unfolding, maybe in ways that you can't describe. But they're really sensing this, okay? They're really feeling this movement. Yeah, look, are you ready? Things are going to happen um, very soon or are well underway. Your soul is beautiful, okay? They've never met anyone like you. You really come from the heart and the soul and these deep levels of the infinite. Um, 
and you saved my life that you've really changed their life okay i feel like you've really woken this person up and they continue to awaken they continue to align with the truth and align with you so please consider joining the membership if you sign up you get lots more extra readings i'm developing a library of readings that you have instant access to as well they're very in-depth they all look into your person's true feelings for you right now what's really going on what you need to know from spirit what is going to unfold next and if you sign up it really helps to support my channel it's eleven dollars eleven cents per month and you get access to so many more readings than what are available here on youtube so if you would like to sign up the details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here take care bye